and welcome back to more Boruto. I'm very excited. Today, hopefully, we are beginning the tuning exams. Now, it might feel like a lifetime since I started reacting to this, and it has been, okay? <laughs> it has been a mini lifetime. Um, yeah had some issues, health issues that have definitely slowed things down a little bit, but I am trying my hardest now to be a bit more consistent because I gotta get on with my life, I guess, is the best way to put it. And I love sharing these videos. I love Boruto. Made in Abyss is up there, you guys, but when people ask me, Favorite show you're watching at the moment, it's Boruto, I just, I love it. And Kakashi, duh. Not that Kakashi's a show, but it should be. It should be. <laughs> Anyways, let's delve on into episode 56. Good luck, do your best, big brother. As long as you haven't forgotten everything you've learned up to now, I know you'll pass. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, I was kind of hoping that Naruto was gonna be there. Wait, who's Naruto? Is that like Naruto and Mewtwo combined? <laughs> okay, I'm out of here, you guys. Good luck, you'll do great. <laughs> All three of us are gonna do absolutely amazing. Oh, I'm so excited for this. I feel like I've been teleported back to 2019 when I first started watching Naruto for the first time. And we were at the tuning exams and everything was crazy. We had Sasuke and Naruto feuding. We had Gara making a scene. And Gara was pretty terrifying at that time. And of course, with all of that going on in the world, my man, my boy, Killer B, rap, 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 has been taken. Which, I'm not going to get into the logistics of that because I do think that he is far too strong to get taken. But when we are dealing with the world of like Kaguya and all of that, given all the damage that she did, clearly these other guys, they have a lot, okay? A lot, a lot of power. And I'm not ready for it, so cheers to that. Hey guys. <laughs> huh. You sure look like you're ready to go. Yeah, what happened? What do you mean, what happened? This is Boruto. <laughs> like I told you, I'm gonna show everyone the results of my training. It looks like everyone else is here now too. And I mean, other than a couple of people, not everyone is gonna know that he trained with Sasuke, which is huge, by the way. Oh, those three guys all look identical. Yeah, those guys are from the Hidden Mist Village. Their names are Takanami? Sazanami and Makinami Senka. I am so gonna forget their names, unfortunately. Which of the teams do you think is the strongest? Well, let's see. Ugh. Hey, you should be saying your own team is the strongest, especially to metal. They're from the Hidden Stone, the Genbu Shinobi Trio. Their background and the jutsu they use are a total mystery. <laughs> Those guys look super strong to me! Yeah, but anyone can walk around puffing their chest out. Doesn't mean anything, Metal. Those guys are nothing to worry about. Ugh, look at him. He gets so carried away. So that's Boruto Uzumaki. The son of 7th Hokage Naruto Uzumaki. Yeah, what? You heard about us? <laughs> it's nothing. Come on. The opening ceremony is about to begin. Oh man, if those two go against each other, oh, oh, so excited. Although it should be metal going against him, just because of like old times. The hidden leaf, the hidden cloud, the hidden mist, the hidden stone, and the hidden sand. Right here and now, you're all being given the rare opportunity to battle against ninja from other villages. It's your chance to use the jutsu you're most proud of to their fullest extent. And I am so excited! We've had 55 episodes of getting to know everyone. Now let's see what they can do, other than eat chips. Alright! 
The first round is gonna begin promptly at noon over at exam venue A. So until then, the time is all yours. Well, why don't we get to know some of the other people? Like I know that they're our competition and all, but maybe we could learn some things, get a bit of an advantage. Well, they say you can't wage a war when you're hungry. Well, there's still time until the first exam, I guess. This can just be our strategy meeting. Uh, yeah, okay, sure, but Mitsuki's late. I wonder what he's doing. I bet he's out there getting to know people. <gasps> Excuse me? Do you even know who you're talking to? Well, there are only two of you sitting here, but there are three in our group. The bigger party should get to sit in the booth. I mean, it just makes sense, doesn't it? Um, excuse me? That's not even a thing. All right, there you have it. So now that you understand, get up and get lost. Boruto, come on! Make sure Sarada knows that you can protect her. Boruto? Oh, I see. So you're the son of the seventh Hokage, huh? I was wondering how good a ninja you were. But yet, you had no idea what he looked like? Really? <laughs> that seat is mine, I'm afraid. Oh, yeah, who are you? Um, you have no idea who Mitsuki is? You're making a fool of yourself just now. Oh? I can't move. Hey, what the? What's going on? <laughs> Oh, don't get involved. I had this handled. What's the point of you two fighting in here? <laughs> well, anyway, our third member is here now. I'm sure you can find other seats. Yeah, I'm sure you can toodaloo. See, if I was Sarada, I'd be so much nastier to him because he deserves it. Sarada, you're too nice. You were a big help. Yeah, sure. Don't worry about it. That's just the kind of person that Shinky is. Let's go. Right. Well, if that's the way Shinky is at that age, he's nothing like Gata was at that age. He's the adopted son of the fifth Kaze Kage. Mm. One of the five Kage's sons. That means he's just like you, Boruto. Yeah, and he's a lot more politer than Boruto is. <laughs> He seems a lot more reserved. But then, Gada's like that too? I wanted to bring Kagura along, but I left him in charge of the hidden mist village while I'm away. Oh, I see. But I have brought a message from him with me. He told me to tell you that he's looking forward to seeing you again as a fellow Chunin. That's what he wanted to say. He said that? Oh, I'm really sad though that he's not gonna be here. They were like bezers. I suppose defeating all of them isn't going to be easy. Oh man, Boruto versus Shinki. I'm seeing it now. It's going to be really, really awesome. Oh. It appears that you're awfully eager to watch the first round of the tuning exams. <laughs> I could say the same to you. Well, it is the five villages first joint exam ever. And you haven't even noticed, though, that something is amiss with Killer B. By the way, where's Gara? Isn't the Kazekage going to come? The exams are just about to begin. He should be on his way right about now. Oh, we're all here, I see. I mean, he should be here, but he's not here. Because I think Gara is about to get attacked the same way that Killer B was. Round one will be... Ha! <laughs> Come on! I'm so excited. I'm so excited. A true or false quiz. What? <laughs> what? What? Come on. I know that we're peaceful and all that, but where's the action act? Sigh? Any Genin who aren't there, after one hour has elapsed on this stopwatch, will be disqualified. Huh. And furthermore, various traps have been laid along the way. If you get caught up and can't go further... Hey, whoa, whoa! People are going already! Only participants who arrive at venue... Look, the clock's the already going! The stopwatch is already moving! Quiz. Let's go! It's a test! You're not supposed to stand there and listen to Sai! Even by a second, we'll be... Ah, oh, 
Ah, uh, you dirty, dirty, dirty monster. Of course, the explanation itself was a trap. If they'd listened till the end of it, they wouldn't have gotten there in time. At least they figured that much out. As expected, this year's entrants are an elite group. Yes, I should hope so. Uh-oh. Sai, what are you sending after us? You know, I feel like Sai in Naruto Shippuden, he was treated kinda dirty. Just because he was the replacement of Sasuke. And it's a shame, because he's a good character. These must be the traps they laid. Be careful moving forward. Okay, we are whittling out the competition. Or shall I say the forest is. Number 108, release. Respond to my name and manifest jet black. Wait a minute, I thought you were... Oh no. <laughs> oh my God, I thought these guys were competition. Damn, maybe not. We never got to see their ultimate technique. What was it that he was saying at the end there? <laughs> Let, let's go. <laughs> Iwabe's like, damn, there was me saying that they were like our biggest competition. <laughs> Didn't say that. All right, come on, Team Seven. All right, how about this? Oh. oh! Try not to use your jutsu here. There's no need for us to reveal our skills to the enemy just yet. He is so much like Gata. Love it. Even though he's adopted, I love it. I wonder what his backstory is though, like why he was adopted and... I'm sure we'll figure all that out in time. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> that was too easy. And I still have more tricks at my sleeve. It is interesting though that we shouldn't be showing all of our jutsu just now because everyone else will be watching you. It's like giving it away. Remember guys, you gotta make it on time. Did we make it? We took too long to get over here. We made it with about five minutes to spare. So then we made it though, regardless. Anyway, the real exam is about to get started now. Oh, oh, sumo wrestling. Those who turn black will fail. Turn black? The question is, in volume five of the Shinobi Strategist detective story, the following passwords appear. Moon is day, mountain is river, Flower is nectar. I don't know. I haven't read this book. Wait, what were they again? The three passwords. Boy, I really don't remember them. I mean, if someone knew the answer to this, it was Denki. So if he doesn't know, it's... I don't know. The thing is, that series has several volumes, and I've only read up to the fourth one. I didn't even know that there was a fifth one. Exactly. So it's a lie. There is no true or false. Don't pick any of them. This won't be much use on a quiz. Don't pick any of them. It's a trap. I feel like he'd answer false. <laughs> I just don't think he's the obedient type. I agree. I think he'd say that too. I'll become Hokage by choosing a different path than my dad. Oh, you're going for true? Thinking about it too much won't get us anywhere. So let's take a gamble, Sarada. Okay, so who else is going for true? Oh, we're opposites! Oh my god. The answer is... Neither. <gasps> what? Was I correct or... Did we just fail? Damn it. Already? Is this really it? No, because everyone went down. Something else is happening here. Just don't touch the ink. They failed over there too. So the right answer is... Uh, Those who turn black will fail. Exactly. Don't touch the ink. Oh, so that's it. Whoa. Look how close he was. 
us to the bottom! We barely made it. And that is teamwork! Oh, I get it. It probably didn't matter if we chose true or false. That question was a sham right from the start. I knew it! There is no volume 5! So if you don't touch the ink, you'll be okay. <laughs> you pass if you didn't fall into the pool of ink! So that's what he meant, huh? See, this is what I love, though! It's like the tuning exams are such a troll! Every time! You see, if you realized your mistake above the pool of ink, and then just gave up, and let the ink stain you, you don't deserve to be a tuning. <laughs> yeah, and Boruto didn't realize it. He didn't realize it until after his team helped him. Those who avoided the ink answered correctly. The tuning exams round one has now ended. Yay! But I'm not happy with Boruto though. Mm mm. Oh, uh, yeah. He'd better believe we will. <laughs> you sure do talk big. Without both your teammates, you would have been completely helpless. What's that? How would you know? Did you have enough time to be worrying about what I'm doing? Yeah, it seems that he didn't have a chance to use it this time. Yes, I believe that you're right. If he's going to use it, then it should be on a bigger stage than this one. Ah, uh, okay then. Boruto's team has made it through round one. I see. Maybe you should give him a pep talk or something. Yeah. Oh, good! I thought I was gonna be like, nah, I've got too much work to do. You know, usual Boruto. Naruto, sorry. Congratulations on passing the first round. Good luck on the next one. Dad, he sent an email? I mean, I guess it's better than nothing, but... He could have at least gone home for five minutes. Don't delete it though, keep it. Good boy. <laughs> I just feel like that's gonna mean something in time. You just watch. I'll definitely show you what I can do in the second round. No matter what, I'm gonna make sure you acknowledge me. Aww. God, he's starting to sound more and more like Roman Reigns as the time goes on. <laughs> so, it is interesting that... I'm trying to think what Shinobi could have done that... I reckon if it was Naruto, because I remember watching him when he was falling into a cliff style thing, he would have summoned... he would have summoned the Toad, because early on, what else could he have done? So, I don't know if he should feel too bad, but I get where he's coming from. The point is, if it wasn't for his teammates, he would have fallen. And therefore, he would have failed in the first round. However, every member of the team has their skills. And it's not, like, individually, it doesn't matter. It's what you do as a team. But at the moment, he's that used to just doing his own thing that he's going to be frustrated with that because Boruto is solo. He's in a team because he has to be, not because he wants to be. And therefore, he's going to feel like a failure because of that situation there. So it's a shame, but we'll see what he does in the next round. And hopefully he can calm down from this. Alright, thank you so much for watching my reaction to this episode, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye!